The Prime Minister had already told us he was having trouble shaking the symptoms. I, have a, I still have a temperature and so in accordance with government advice, I must continue uh, my self-isolation until uh, that symptom itself goes. On Thursday night, he'd emerged to applaud NHS staff, but last night he was taken to hospital. The government, though, is stressing this was not an emergency admission. He's had the symptoms now of coronavirus for 10 days after testing positive, and they proved to be persistent, and for that reason his doctor advised him to go in as a precautionary step. From inside this London hospital, Boris Johnson has said on social media he's in good spirits and in touch with his team. But what treatment will he be receiving there? They'll be looking to do some blood tests to see what's happening with his liver function tests, to see what's happening with his white cells, and he will almost certainly be having x-rays and possibly scans of his lungs to see whether he's got what's called an infiltrate in there, so it looks a bit like ground glass. Today, the Foreign Secretary, Dominic Raab, chaired the daily COVID response meeting. Officially, he takes over if Boris Johnson's completely incapacitated. But Downing Street says we're not at that stage. Those with experience inside Number 10 say the machine can cope. We do have a cabinet system of collective responsibility where people are in jobs where they're able to step up. The reality is, is Boris Johnson is not so incapacitated that if something desperately seriously came up, he couldn't consider it. But the reality is also is that he needs to rest. He's clearly in a position where it's not healthy for him to keep pushing himself to the degree that he has done, and he needs to step back a bit. There have been plenty of good wishes for the Prime Minister, from the new Labour leader, Sir Keir Starmer, and from across the Atlantic. All Americans are praying for him. He's a friend of mine. He's a great gentleman and a great leader. And he's, uh, as you know, he was uh, brought to the hospital today, but I'm I'm hopeful and sure that he's going to be fine. He's a strong man, strong person. This has been a testing time for the Prime Minister. Now, it seems, more than ever.